Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Brandon with On The Loose Gaming once again. We're here to play some more Amnesia, The Dark Descent. If you saw the last episode, video, whatever you want to call it, we went down the elevator. I'll show you. Here is the elevator. It got trampled and blew up and we fell all the way down to the bottom. And now we're at this basement place. Yay! Oh, flashback time. in the dungeon basically that's cool there's a reason why these are here and stuff but apparently we don't care hiya sound kind of like Gollum from Lord of the Rings you just chilling here tell you what that'd be the scariest thing I've probably seen in the game if Gollum just shows up he's like Coming up, I just like precious or something like that, you know. I'm pretty sure I just stopped playing the game forever because Golem is one freaky deaky dude. Okay, well, it's not so scary. Cockroach and great. We are now officially out of oil. What's going on? It's like pitch black. I can't go that way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I used up all of my oil already. There's there isn't just so happen to be some just like laying around, right? Okay, we're doing the thing that scares me the most, walking into pitch black darkness. So we're just gonna go bolting. Okay, good thing his eyes adjust, or else I would be, oh great, no torch there. But actual sunlight. Uh, let's try this way. Can his eyes adjust for me, please? What was that? Why is this cell door off? I don't want to do this now. Uh, okay. If it all else fails, close your eyes and listen. Just they're sprinting. Okay. Had one eye open so I could see where I was going at least. Okay, well, it appears there's only a tinder box in here. Let's go back out to light. <laughs> Check it out, I can walk on doors. And run past here, and down next dark hallway. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not the right way either. Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. What is going on? Where are we? What is up? Why is there a hammer? Pick? Hold the bucket. If that fool comes at me... I'm checking this bucket out. Man, that was just so much. There was so much going on. Why was there so... Okay. I have no... Okay, we went that way and something freaky hit the door. I have no idea where I'm at now. Okay, okay. I see what happened. Okay, so originally we were going up this way, but it turns out there's this way that way. So let's not go up the stairs yet. 
Let's light some of these so we don't freak out. Oh, great. Brave the darkness! Oh, oil. Oh, oh, I love you, oil. I'm not gonna use you yet, but... Okay, this is where that guy got... Okay, apparently that can't be over from this side, so that's just fine. All right, well, we had the walker dude thing up here a second ago. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, nothing around there. Kind of stinks lighting up all these things because they can just walk up and find you or whatever and see you no matter where you go. Oh, back. Oh my gosh. That guy scares me more than anything else. Okay, um, I guess we'll try down here. It is all lit up, and there's a lock. Okay, it's a robust padlock. We saw the walker dude right back there. So he's probably just gonna be waiting around a corner for us, just like a jerk. Okay, like that. I won't use my lamp all that much if I don't have to. Light that up. What's behind door number one, Bob? Oh sweet, there's a light source in here. Oh, memories, great. Okay. Oh crap, I'm so dead right now, aren't I? I'm not in here. You bust in on the door and you don't even walk in? Really? Really? How, how are you supposed to be an intimidating, super freaky creature if you can't even walk in a room? Okay, hold on. Okay, there he goes. Okay, it looks like we're good to go check out. Okay. Gotta check out this last area. Oh, another flashback. So there's that padlock. Really, did everything just... Crap, I have no idea where he is. Okay, we're gonna try to bust down this padlock with a chipper. 
The solid metal is, isn't good. Okay, apparently that's not why you do it. So let's try uh, sprinting through all this. Close that. Okay, hole is too narrow, but that's okay because we got this. Boom. I guess we just got out of the northern block now. Let's go check it out. I mean, scary, right? Uh, he unraveled a cloth protecting the orb. Alexander reached out, picked it up, and held it against the light. Covered, he said. Keep it covered at all times. Okay, orbs and light are no-nos. Apparently, according to Alexander. I'm assuming that's Alexander the Great? Unless someone in the story? Someone... If anyone correct me, that's cool. If not, it's whatever. Okay. Uh, split path. Let's go this way first. Okay. Oh, I know exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna be trying to bust out and one of those freaky deaky dudes. I gotta come up out of nowhere and eat my brains. Come on, come on. There we go. Boom. We're gonna stay crouched. Okay, staircase up. We're not crouching right now, that's okay. Hallway down. Can't light that up, but we can, it won't budge. Okay, so. Okay, this is the other side of the padlock, so I saw the freaky dude walk across here. It's okay, we just gotta look for the hole, we gotta run back. Okay, I think there's only one way in here, so we're closing that. Read the note. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn. And I'm now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. I'm sorry, Daniel. Your life's kind of rough. Oh, more oil. Yes! Okay, gotta make sure we pick up everything we possibly can. So, there's the tinder boxes. That stuff doesn't sound good. A D up. Yep, yep, don't touch that. Yep, it hurts. Um, can we, like, okay, so it is an acid. Just take whatever I want. This could be fun. Just, uh, let's grab this and just. Glass container is an ideal vessel. Okay, so apparently probably gotta go out and find a glass container. Just, you know, you gotta double check. Oh, fire, yeah, fire bad. 
Man, that would slow me. <laughs> I'm assuming this will come in handy later for some reason. Oh, great. Time to go venture back. Okay, well, he's not immediately outside the door for once, so that's really nice and convenient. Or he is. Um, dark, dark, dark. This hopefully is dark enough. But I also want to be able to see. Yep, he came in. Oh gosh. Hide behind a pegasus. Oh, is he gonna get me? Is he gonna get me? Please don't get me. Please say he just quit. He quit and ran away. I can still hear him, but I can't see him. I don't know how long I have to sit here for. I'm also apparently kind of stuck. Okay, peak in time. Okay, well, it looks like he's not in this room. Unfortunately, this room doesn't no longer has a door. Peek again. Make sure he's not like gonna sneak out on us again. That man, this guy's so mean. Like he won't let me do all the stuff I want to do. Okay, let's see, that's the hole we came out of. That door won't budge. Isn't this the gate with the padlock? Okay, staircase. Come on, eyes. That's still a really, that is a really cool feature, how his eyes adjust to the light and stuff. Who the freak is coughing? <clears throat> this must have been the other way I could have came from, but at least we're dead end. Storage. Let's not go to the storage. What is that noise? circle around there. Man, there's just so much stuff all the time. Strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, 
and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Okay. Great, we got here just in time. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, I couldn't close the door. I couldn't close the door. I couldn't close the door. Run, white boy, run. gonna hopefully be able to hide right here so these things can't see in the dark oh cool a tinderbox oh my gosh this thing's gonna pop up and just eat me as soon as I look around this corner Okay, he just went around that corner, so that's good. Except for the fact now that I'm lost. And Daniel's going crazy. Okay, buddy. We just gotta get back to where we were. Which we were trying to go this way. But then, I don't even know what to call him. Let's just call the bad guy Bobby. No, that's lame. How about. Let's call him Fred. Fred, he wants a hug, but he's got terrible body odor, so we don't give Fred a hug because we're very mean people. And we don't like body odor here. We like people with good hygiene. Locked again. Down to the storage. It's like that. And of course, the door's slightly ajar. And <gasps> this glass container. Yes! Okay. Oh, treasure. Treasure? No! <laughs> Open! Open! Sometimes mice just don't like to comply. Okay, well. Uh, actually. We're gonna call this episode right here. Whew, that was crazy. That guy jumped out of nowhere all the time. Uh, Fred is not a nice person. He just likes scaring people. He's, he just wants a hug, I understand, but he smells terrible. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, please let me know. And if you wanna see more of it, you know, tell me that too. If you wanna be playing anything else, tell me, that'd be awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to stay classy. And we will see all of you in the next video. Bye.